Hello and welcome to our video about the most interesting Eurovision Song Contest facts you've never heard before. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn some surprising facts about Eurovision. The first Eurovision was held in 1956 in Lugano, Switzerland with seven countries competing. Today the Eurovision Song Contest has over 40 countries participating, and you don't even have to be from Europe anymore. The contest is so huge it is actually broadcasted around five different continents. The contest always begins with the playing of the fanfare prelude to Te Deum by Marc-Antoine Charpentier, which has become known as the Eurovision Anthem. The rules of the contest mean only six members of each country can be on stage during a performance. If you think this is harsh, until 1971 it was only three. The 2020 Eurovision Song Contest was cancelled for the first time in history due to the coronavirus pandemic sweeping the world. All 41 countries that were due to compete were invited back to the 2021 ceremony. It seems performing second is totally cursed. No country ever to perform second on the final night has ever gone on to win the contest. Romania performed second in 2022 and finished in 18th place. Those who can remember watching Eurovision in the 1990s might remember the presence of an orchestra. A live orchestra was a big part of the Eurovision experience until the late 90s, when a rule change meant that all instrumental music could be pre-recorded, although the host country was still obliged to provide an orchestra. In 1999, the EBU changed the rules again to state that the orchestra was optional. Those changes paved the way for many of the synth-pop songs we all know and love today at the contest. The 1974 Eurovision Song Contest was won by ABBA with their iconic hit song Waterloo. The Swedish pop group's victory catapulted them to international fame, and they remain one of the most popular Eurovision winners of all time. That year UK gave them zero points. The most successful country in Eurovision history is Ireland. The Emerald Isle has won the competition a record seven times. Legendary singer Celine Dion was the winner of Eurovision in 1988. The Canadian singer competed for Switzerland with the song, Ne Parte Pas Saint Moi. In 1969, there was a four-way tie for first place. France, Spain, the UK, and the Netherlands all received 18 points each. Instead of a tiebreaker, all four countries were declared winners. The 2006 Eurovision Song Contest was held in Athens, Greece, and it was watched by over 100 million people worldwide. It remains one of the most watched television events in history. In 2007, Serbian singer Maria Serifovic won the Eurovision Song Contest with her song Malitva. Her victory was historic because she was the first singer from Serbia to win the competition, and she sang entirely in Serbian. In 2006, Finland's entry was a heavy metal band called Lordi, who wore monster costumes on stage and performed a song called Hard Rock Hallelujah. They won the competition and became the first and only heavy metal band to win Eurovision. The Greek entry at the Eurovision Song Contest 1976 in The Hague was a protest political song, performed by Marisa Koch. According to the singer during an interview, the organizers of Eurovision asked her not to perform her entry because there was information about a sniper there and her life was in danger, so she signed a paper stating she will perform under her own responsibility. None of Luxembourg's five winners came from Luxembourg. Four singers were French and one Greek. And that's it for our list of interesting facts about the Eurovision Song Contest. We hope you enjoyed learning about Eurovision, such a beloved event for millions of viewers around the world. With each year's competition bringing new surprises and unforgettable performances, we can't wait to see what the future holds for this iconic celebration of music and culture. Which one was your favorite song from Eurovision? And of course, which one do you think was the most interesting or funny? Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content.